dear facebook pure urology viewers today the topic is suction in mini pcnl a new dimension in this era of miniaturization with the mini pcnl being done most of the times so the one issue that lingers is that the increased operative time because of the diameter of the sheath which restricts the size of the fragments being retrieved so to overcome this will suction help that is what our topic is today so to talk upon this we have our elegant speaker dr abhijit patel sir from nadiad i'll be introducing him so dr abhijit patel is a consultant urologist and transplant surgeon from mpuh nadiad he has expertise in kidney transplant and vascular and reconstructive surgery he is the recipient of several prestigious scholarships and he is the gold medalist in mch urology he is the recipient of miuc international travel fellowship from usi during usicon 2020 he has published many scientific papers in national and international conferences and journals he is the reviewer for journal of minimal access surgery he has also devised a novel cost effective laparoscope for residents which was selected for SANTU BNTU at SIU Athens 2019 over to you sir dr abhijit patel sir well thank you dr somaya for that kind words so uh, uh, as you just introduced regarding the concept of uh, need for suctioning mini pc cell to share my screen uh so is my screen visible yes sir you are visible and you are audible okay well i would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, dr chandra modwadi sir and dr somya to give this opportunity and also congratulate pure urology uh, which is a facebook group and it just celebrated its anniversary the aim of pure urology is pure urology uh, it is focused on surgical techniques but today i would like to take this opportunity to uh, introduce or explain a concept of suction in mini pcnl a new dimension in mini pcnl uh, that as the talk goes it would be uh, a, a symphony between uh, the concept and the techniques that are involved of addition of suction in mini pcnl i have nothing to disclose and it is a pure description of new available technology for stone management so the management of stagon stone classically was large sheets 28 to 30 grain sheet as can be seen here with the post operative image being like this and it has dramatically transitioned from this picture to a picture where even you can uh, deal with the stagon stone using an 18 french sheet which is a mini perk and a post operative image like this where you don't even keep a tube and there is a hardly any scar to the patient now uh, how do those mini pcl stands uh, versus standard pcnl for management of stagon stone this is a recent paper in our journal of urology which says that the efficacy of mini pcnl was comparable to standard pcnl in the treatment of stagon stone with the added advantage of lesser incidence and severity of complications and shorter hospital stay so now as we know that mini pcnl can stand head to head with the standard pcnl for stagon stone and also uh, let's see what the latest 2022 guidelines of european association of urology say regarding Uh, mini pcnl which says that pcnl performed with small instruments tends to be associated with significantly lower blood loss but the duration of procedure tends to be significantly longer there are no significant differences in stone free rate or any of the complications which has a level 1a evidence there is some evidence of using suction during pcnl to reduce intraarenal pressure and increase stone free rate now as we know that the mini pcl can stand head to head with standard pcl but does it has have its own share of problem so this is an in vitro study 
where they introduced e coli in the pelvic elastic system of porcelain model and what they define is that the impact of sheath size of intra renal pelvic pressure and infectious complication so the intra renal pelvic pressure was significantly higher in the mini pcna group the time spent in the pelvic elastic system above 30 mm of mercury was significantly greater in the mini pcna group all the pigs in the mini pcna group had positive kidney cultures and as clean cultures blood culture was positive in 30% of pigs in the mini pcnl arm compared with none in the standard arm <clears throat> which says that mini pcnl was associated with higher intraorenal pressures higher risk of end organ bacterial bleeding in the setting of infected collecting system this means there is higher potential for infectious complications in a clinical setting so these are some problems of mini pcnl now coming on to in vivo study what does it say about the intraorenal pelvic pressure and post operative fever incidence between standard and mini pcnl so this is a study from china which says that the difference in the incidence of post operative fever between the two groups also appear to be significant the analysis said that there is a solid evidence that both intraorenal pelvic pressure and its accumulation time at least the pressure in the pelvis is more than 30 mm of mercury or significantly affected the incidence of post operative fever and which was significantly higher in the mini pcn group as compared to standard pcn group so from this we understand that the limitations of mini pcn are its higher intraorenal pelvic pressure which may translate to increased post operative fever and infectious complications increased operative time with the benefit being lesser complication lesser bleeding complications and lesser blood uh, transfusion now how do we overcome these two challenges of intraorenal pelvic pressure fever and the increased operative time so the conventional mini pcn that we have works on something known as vacuum cleaner effect or nowadays we can attach a suction to the a mini pcn sheet so how do they compare head to head so this is a single center study so that the sheet attached to suction had significantly shorter operative time fluoroscopic time and radiation dose a higher rate of infectious complication was found in the group which used only the vacuum cleaner effect and no added suction to it so the study concluded that mini pcnl performed with continuous active suction is associated with lower rates of infectious complications shorter operative time and lower patient radiation dose than the conventional mini pcn so we come to know that if we add suction to it it can have it can circumvent the problems faced by the conventional mini pcn <clears throat> now we are very understand all this concept now let's see what are the energy sources or the ways where we can add suction in mini pcn so the traditionally the first uh, energy source was a pneumatic ballistic uh, lithotractor from ems lithoclast then came the ultrasonic probe then they attached suction to the pneumatic probe so the fragments would uh, get uh, uh, disintegrated with the pneumatic lithotractor and some fragments would be sucked out then they added all the two component that is the ultrasound pneumatic and suction to it and which is known as lithoclass master now what was the problem was this device is that when you add inner it was the uh, pneumatic one and outer was the ultrasonic one so what happens is that the effective size for the stone fragments to be sucked out is the space between their screw probe which is only 0.9 mm so they thought that the company device <coughs> they thought that what if the external probe there would be a single probe it would have the pneumatic or the ballistic component as well as ultrasound component and the, it would suck out the fragment through the single probe so this thought brought the birth of two technologies which is boston scientific lithoclast trilogy and olympus shock where The 3.9 mm, 3.7 mm. These are the standard PCNL probes. While these are 1.9 and 1.8 mm for mini PCNL. 
So the available lumen area is greater than this combination lithoclast MOSFET, which was available conventionally. Now, when we uh, add suction to mini PCNL, it could be two concepts. One is that we add suction to the sheet itself, or we add suction, add suction to the lithotripsy probe itself. Now, what are the examples of addition of suction to the sheet? Is a clear cutter sheet or a very own Shah superfast sheet? And the addition of suction to the probe would be a laser with suction laser class, the EMS trilogy, and Olympus suction. Now we'll have some highlight of how the technology works and how other cases actually done using this analysis. Now the first device is a suction uh, with uh, a laser with a suction. Now this was initially revised by EMS, where this had a suction tube with a laser housing in it. A 30, 365 micron fiber laser could be passed through it. The laser tip could come out from here. You lace the stone and this housing would suck the fragments from here and this would get sucked out into the suction tubing. <clears throat> now the amount of suction that, can, that the surgeon needs to apply can be controlled by the handle itself. And this is a 4.5 French device which can very well go through the 12 French mini microscope available by Passports or Olympus. <coughs> now here we can see the device setup. This is a, a mini PCNL sheet. This is a 12 French uh, microscope. This is a 4 point French device. And this is the handle. And here you can see the where you can insert the laser fiber. And there is a suction to it. And here you can control it. Now you can see the laser fiber being introduced. And now I'll show you a case. Uh, this is a 29 year old male with a right renal pelvic calculus of around 19 mm with an hospital unit of around 1300 <coughs> Now This is a mini PCNL the access word achieved. The stone can be visualized. Now this is the laser with the laser pointer. You can see the surgeon with its handle can control the suction to it. There are two benefits of this. One is that when you lay the stone, there's a lot of dust which hampers your vision and ultimately hampers your duration of surgery. So it sucks out this small dust and keeps your vision clear and helps you to continuously lay the stone and thereby decreasing the operative time. <coughs> the second thing is that this uh, suction if the fragment near to your scope, and that is why you can uh, disintegrate very fastly. So these are the two benefits of addition of suction to this uh, probe. Now we have uh, published the data of our outcomes of laser with suction device in mini PCNL, which has been recently accepted in ancient journal of virology. And we conclude that for stone greater than 18 mm, this device has better stone fill rate as compared to the conventional device with no suction. Now coming on to the next device, which is Boston Scientific or EMS uh, Lithoclast Trilogy. So it has three components. It has a ballistic component, it has an ultrasound component, and it has a suction attached to it. <clears throat> now this is uh, the uh, probe where you can see uh, this probe itself moves uh, back and forth. So this is the ballistic component which breaks the stones into larger fragments, and the ultrasonic fragment, ultrasonic component breaks it into finer fragments and it sucks out. So these uh, three uh, energy sources uh, or the three components of trilogy work in harmony to clear the stone very fast. Now presenting our own experience of uh, lithoclast trilogy. So. <clears throat> First, I would like to show the instrumentation of uh, a lithoclast trilogy. So this is the setup of a, a trilogy, where this is the handpiece. This is the cable where you attach to the uh, machine. And, and this is the suction tubing. This is the probe where you attach using a clockwise manner. And this is a torque wrench where you uh, <coughs> tighten it. Now, if it is tightened properly, you will get a green color feedback. 
Now, if it is my function, you can see it turns orange. Now, it is a, this is a 1.9 uh, uh, French probe, which goes through uh, a mini perk. And if you want to unlock it, use the trench in, uh, in uh, empty clockwise manner, unroll the uh, probe. And this is a uh, 3.9 uh, French probe, where uh, this can go through a standard PCNL. And this is attached to the uh, machine. Now, there are, these are the three components of it. One is the ultrasound, the intensity of the ultrasound, the frequency of the ultrasound, the impact. This is the ballistic component and how strong you want the suction. So you can control all the three components in trialers. Now, there are small differences uh, between trialogy and shock pulse. And you can tell, you can uh, see that these are pros and cons of uh, both of them. The first thing of uh, benefit of trilogy over shock pulse is that you can uh, control all the three components. In uh, shock pulse, you can only control high or low, and you can uh, control the suction. Whereas in trilogy, you can control all the three components. Now, This is the uh, uh, suction tubing which is attached to the probe. This is a stone catcher bottle. And this tube goes into a bag which has a property gel where all the uh, stones would be collected in the stone catcher and the irrigation fluid will come into the bag and it will solidify. It has a foot pedal which activates all the three components simultaneously. Now, this was the technology and the setup of EMS biology. Let's see some cases of biology. Now, coming on to the first case, which is a 78-year-old male with a left upper calcial stone of around 28 mm with an ounce per of 1400 HQ. So, we achieved the access using fluoroscopy guided. We dilated the 18 French, and this was the 18 French sheet and a 12 French necroscope. Now, as you can see over here, <coughs> this is a 12 French necroscope. And this is the trilogy probe. Now you can very well see the trilogy probe is literally engulfing the stone. See the vision, how well it is maintained. You need not stop during your procedure while disintegrating the stone. You can literally see the probe is eating away the stone. So, as you can see, it is very safe on mucosa as well. And you can suck out completely or clear of the stone without any uh, forceps or auxiliary uh, instruments required. And we achieved a complete stone clearance as can be seen endoscopically as well as fluoroscopically. Now we'll show an another case. This was a post-operative city of that patient which had only 4 mm residual stagnants. A second case is again a left-sided stagnant stone which is a size of around 31 mm and around 1400 Hg, but a hard stone. Again, a fluoroscopy guided puncture. Uh, then an 18 French sheet was used, mini perk. And this is the stone. Here also you can see how well the trilogy disintegrates the stone. The vision is quite clear. There is no bleeding. And the, see the speed with which the stagon stone has been disintegrated. And mind you, this is mini piece and not the standard PCNL. So you have all the benefits of mini PCNL, less bleeding complication, but at the same time, you are circumventing the problems of operative time. This definitely decreases your operative time. So these devices have a role, especially for larger volume stones, where you want to manage them with a mini PCNL. And here, as you saw, this was the stone catcher bottle. And here, the, the irrigation fluid is being collected and this gel has now solidified. So this basically gives your OR a good uh, um, dry area. And this is the last fragment which is being disintegrated. And as you can see, there is no stone fragment which is left. And then we left a, a nephrostomy tube and a ureter. So there are various probes for uh, trilogy. The conventional uh, probe that we use for uh, 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 standard PCNL is 3.4 mm and for mini PCNL it is 1.9 mm. Uh, coming on to the next technology, 
which is mini pearl with columbus shock pearls now what the shock pearls has is that it also has the same three components these are the components of shock pearls it has a baseline ultrasonic energy and in between there are intermittent ballistic energy which are given now this it has its own uh, generator then it has its hand piece or known as transducer then it has its own torque wrench for tightening the probe these are the probes so for mini pcnl you have 1.8 mm in trilog it was 1.9 for a standard it was 3.4 now you can uh, achieve the uh, attach the probe as can be attached in trilog and you can attach the cable to the generator as shown in this uh, video so there are two buttons so the again the difference between shock pulse and trilog is that you could control all the components in trilog uh, but they are in the generator itself somebody has to do it in olympus shock pulse the benefit is that the surgeon has the control complete control is that there are two buttons on the hand piece which the surgeon can decide whether to use high power button or a uh, standard power button this is the amount of suction so this is small suction this is a uh, high suction so the surgeon himself can decide based on the stone density or the hardness how well he wants high or low or he can uh, monitor the suction which is normal suction versus full suction so this is uh, the return screen this is essential to cause high wave uh, uh, ballistic component in the shock pulse <clears throat> now this large single lumen probe quickly drills through all type of stones allowing continuous stone fragment removal it vacuums out stone fragments which reduces time spent for chasing stones with grasper and basket <clears throat> it has high flow rate for stone aspiration minimizes clogging so as i initially showed if you have a dual probe lithotripter this or this is the area where you achieve the stone fragments versus the shock pulse where this complete probe works uh, in itself these are the various probe which are available as i showed earlier also it is 1.9 mm for trilogy and 1.8 mm for olympus shock pulse now the setup for shock pulse as you uh, have seen in the animation this is a real time video where this is the transducer this is the probe and this is the cable and this is the wrench now how do you uh, remove that you unscrew it then take a torque wrench unscrew using a torque wrench and with the first give way you can unscrew it yourself similar you can attach so almost attaching the probe in trilogy and shock pulse is almost the same but they have their own proprietary torque wrench which you cannot interchange with each other <clears throat> now coming on to the case where there is a stagon stone on the right side and we manage it with shock pulse it was an ultrasound guided puncture fluoroscopy guided uh, dilatation so again this was an 18 plane sheet so here also like uh, trilogy this also literally engulfs the stone see you have to you don't have to apply pressure to it it bores through or it uh, drills through the stone so as you can see in fluoroscopy also and endoscopy also just keep it over the stone and it itself bites all the three component will drill into the stone and keep on don't go deep into a uh, area keep on drilling in uh, different different areas and finally if there are fragments then only you have to remove with forceps otherwise you don't have to remove any of the fragments with forceps it will come out directly through shock pulse and as you can see these big stones uh, which could have been uh, earlier dealt with the big nephroscope sheet and bigger uh, nephroscope are being dealt uh, uh, 
which the decrease size of 18 French and 12 French nephroscope. Now these were the concept of suction attached to the lithotrichy probe. The first being the uh, laser with suction, the Olympus shock pulse and EMS dilation. Now coming on to the second aspect of the concept where you attach suction to the nephroscopy sheet itself. Now there are two ways of doing is that there is a clear petra sheet and there is a charge supercurve sheet. So the clear petra sheet is available from China and the charge supercurve sheet is devised by our own Dr. Kaushik Shasar uh, based in Surat and it is freely available. And this is a 12 French nephroscope. Now concept here is that if you use a 18 French sheet, the fragment that you can suck out if you withdraw the nephroscope till here is around 5.9 mm or 6 mm. Very, whereas if your 12 French nephroscope is inside the sheet, the available area is around 6 French, which is around 1.9 mm. So if you are lazing the stone with the nephroscope in the sheet, uh, the dust or the fragment which are less than 9 mm would be simultaneously sucked off through the area which is available between the spoke and the sheet. While if you withdraw the spoke till the mark, as can be seen here or here, then a larger fragment of around 6 mm would come out into the sheet. Coming on to the first sheet, which is a clear petra sheet, here the, uh, this is the setup which is required is the initial function needle, then you require a glide wire, the patient director, and this is a, a clear petra sheet. This is an 18 French sheet where this is made up of uh, plastic or uh, PPFE, and this it has an oblique offset. And it has a mark, red mark, so that you come till that red mark, then the fragments will be sucked up through the offset. <clears throat> it has a marking so that it helps you to understand till what depth you have gone inside, and it has its own dilator uh, to it. So, as can be seen here, this is the 12-frame nephroscope which can easily go through a clear petra sheet. There is an oblique suction and there is a pressure vent where you can control the pressure. So here also there are certain differences between a charge superpuck sheet and this sheet. Where is that in charge superpuck sheet? This is 90 degree, while in clear petra sheet it is an oblique uh, way. Uh, this component of the sheet in clear petra is plastic or it's like an amplified material. While in Shah Shukopak sheet, it is metallic. <clears throat> now the pros is that this uh, people say that this is less traumatic, but uh, the pro of Shah Shukopak sheet is that it is more durable. So uh, Shah Shukopak sheet can be used multiple times if you buy it once, while this would last you only for a few cases. Now I will be showing a case of a gentleman with a 20, uh, 20, 33 mm stone in the left kidney, uh, around 1000 HU, <clears throat> using a clear petra sheet. So it was the ultrasound guided uh, puncture, dilatation work done fluoroscopy. This is the sheet which is own dilator. Now, when the sheet is attached, then you attach the nozzle to it. This makes it uh, watertight, airtight. Now, through this, the uh, nephroscope will go and then the suction uh, tubing attached, attached to the public offset, which is available. Now, in this case, once you have done this, then you introduce the, you have to remove the wire. Then you go with a 12 frame nephroscope inside, you see the stone, and this is the Moses laser, uh, this is the high power polymer with Moses technology, with which we are achieving dusting. Now this dust, which is around uh, less than one mm, this is being getting sucked out simultaneously with a nephroscope in the sheet. So you don't have to withdraw the sheet again and again. But the downside of this technique is that it takes slightly larger operative time. But the pros is that you don't have to move the scope. Second, the fragments are so small that you would achieve a higher stone clearance rate after this procedure because it would be small dust which would be sucked out simultaneously 
and you have you would have complete stone clearance which is immediately if you do a 48 hours if you achieve a complete stone clearance with this technology where you do uh, uh, dusting and a uh, suction being attached to it simultaneously so this is how uh, you do uh, disintegration of the stone with a clear cutter sheet so as i said this is a large stone with 6500 cc stone and the laser time being 70 minutes because we dusted it <clears throat> and the post operative as you can see this is the immediate 48 hour post operative ct where there is no fragment <clears throat> when we say it is complete stone clearance it is proven by ct that there is no stone no stone fragment now the benefit of addition of suction is very well seen in this video initially painting was done over the surface of the stone as the dust is formed it gets sucked out through the sheath <clears throat> keeping the vision clear Due to minimal or no retropulsion, continuous fragmentation can be done along with continuous suction of these fragments and dust. Also, due to simultaneous suction of the fragments, there is no need for the use of any accessory instruments like forceps or basket. So here you, uh, all the benefits of addition of suction are Initially, highlighted. Now this is the concept that I was trying to highlight is that, <clears throat> so if you uh, withdraw the scope, Till this red mark, a uh, fragment of around 6 mm would be sucked out as you can see over here. This is an ephroscope which I will draw till here. And this same would uh, have the same effect if you withdraw the scope till this chamber. So all the fragments would come from here and then it would be sucked out. And as I said, this area where there is a finger placed, it, it has a suction vent where you can uh, control this uh, amount of suction. While this is the area, as I will describe in later uh, video, how uh, can I achieve control of suction in Shah Super So the first thing was the clear petra sheet. The second sheet, which is readily available, is in something known as Super Perk, and it is a mini PCNL with a suction attached to it, and it was devised by Dr. Kaushik Shah sir. And this is the setup of Super Perk, where this is a necroscope with the Shah Superpark sheet and this is the irrigation which is attached to the uh, nephroscope or laser fiber or pneumatic probe goes to the nephroscope and it has an air opening and a suction uh, uh, offset where you attach the suction tube and uh, they have their own property low power suction not the conventional suction that we use because the suction that we generally use if it is attached it collapses the pelvic alaxial system. So the people have the problem, they complain that the pelvic alaxial system they gets collapsed. This bleeding is because the suction that is attached to a sheet is a conventional suction. So if we use this proprietary suction, the, it very well maintains the intra-pelvic pressure and uh, you will not have collapsing on the system or any problem during stone disintegration. Now there are various sheets which are uh, uh, available. As you can see over here, you achieve the uh, access and they have their own obturator which will you do an initial puncture, pass the wire, over the wire, pass this obturator and this will go over the obturator and then once it goes through it, you attach the knob to it. As you can see, a knob is attached and this is for suction control and see, once it has gone inside, if you ask the assistant to pass uh, NS from the ureter catheter, you will see a clear reflex of uh, the irrigation fluid, which means the access shape is very well in the pelvic collateral system. And then uh, this is the, um, it has two offset. This is the smaller offset where the surgeon can control the amount of suction which is available. And here you actually attach the suction tubing. Uh, yes. So here the tubing is attached. Yeah. So you can clearly hear the sound of the suction. Now uh, the, uh, I can control the amount of suction. This is the stone catcher bottle where all the fragments are coming. I'm lasing the stone with thulium fiber laser and all the fragments are collected in the stone bottle and I can very well control with my left index finger the amount of suction that I want. If the pelvic collateral system is collapsing, I release the suction. If I want the fragments to be sucked out in the sheath, 
and apply the suction and then remove the fragment till the portion I have shown. So I can very well control all the things with uh, myself. Now this is the uh, layout of the patient where this is the police catheter, this is the prone position, this is the head end, this is the leg end, this is the police catheter where the surgeon can uh, see the uh, color of the urine and uh, this is the ureteric catheter uh, and this is the suction tubing which can be attached to Sha Superbakshi and it goes and it is attached to the propriety suction machine which is available. Now uh, this is a video of courtesy Dr. Kaushik Shah sir. This was demonstrated no. by sir himself in the, in the uh, latest conference and workshop that was organized uh, by the sir. So here in the previous video we saw the stone disintegration using a laser uh, technology and here you can see the stone disintegration using a pneumatic lithotractor. The benefit, this is a mini cup, is an 18 French sheet and a 12 French nephroscope. The benefit of this sheet is that you break the stone in larger fragments, you withdraw the sheet. See, in this complete video as you see, never ever will you require a need to use a forceps. There are larger fragments where you just suck out using the uh, suction. As you can see, the surgeon is controlling this end, which has a suction offset. Now, since this is a larger fragment, uh, this would again be uh, disintegrated using a lithotripsy probe. The way of how to achieve this is that you go to the stone, brew, uh, move the sheet towards the stone, and when you apply the suction, then only with the stones we will be sucked into the sheet. Now, as you can see, how fast the surgery is being proceeding, and the surgeon is just applying suction and moving to and fro of the spore. And no forceps is used, there is hardly any the bleeding can be seen. Uh, the other benefit of this technology of addition of suction is that. Uh, there are some areas which are delicate areas is that uh, there are small stone fragments which are uh, near this area which is the PUJ. So here uh, if you try to use energy source then uh, you would try to injure the delicate PUJ area. If you just go towards that PUJ area there are small stone fragments you just apply suction. All the fragments would come out without you requiring any of your instruments or forceps. As against, if the, you are punctured a middle calyx and you want to go and retrieve a stone in the lower calyx, what happens is that you will have to use forceps, you will have to torque it. But as against, if you use this technology, just move your sheet towards the lower calyx, apply the suction, and it will just suck out the fragments from the lower calyx. So this is how it is beneficial, where it just sucks out the stone from inaccessible areas without need of any additional procedures or maneuvers. So now when we have this hypothesis, as I uh, told earlier, whether to attach suction to the probe itself or to the sheet, then we evaluated our hypothesis by performing a prospective comparative study at our institute. We enrolled 60 patients from January 2019 to February 2022. 20 and they were divided into two groups one with a trilogy group and other was with the helium fiber laser group so all the patients were in prone position they underwent a uh, procedure during general anesthesia the trilogy arm you would use a 18 french ampla sheet with a 14 french bulk nephroscope and we used the energy was ems lipocular trilogy with a 1.9 mm probe while the other arm was a helium fiber laser arm which had an 18 French Shah Superpakshi, a 12 French Carlsrud nephroscope, and a 400 micron fiber <coughs> of 60 watt superpulp helium fiber laser. The parameter was the lasing time, was the total duration of laser active time. The probe activation time, which was in the trilogy arm, where the lithotripsy probe was activated and was shown on the screen by the machine. The stone fragmentation rate was calculating by dividing the stone volume which we achieved from the pre-operative CT scan <coughs> divided by either lasing time in this arm 
and the probe activation time in the cryogenia. And the treatment time was defined from the time of kidney puncture to completion of this. So the results were all the preoperative demographics were comparable. The stone size was 22 mm versus 27 mm trilogy and thulium, which was comparable. The stone volume were around 3,500 in both the groups, which are comparable. The stone density was around 1,200 HU in both the groups, which are again comparable. Now coming on to the intraoperative and postoperative parameters, the treatment time was almost 30 minutes in both the groups, which are also comparable. The stone fragmentation rate was significantly more in trilogy than the thulium fiber laser. And we think that this was either because of technology or because of the lasing uh, uh, that we did with thulium was the dusting lasing that could have led to faster stone fragmentation rate in trilogy. This was 96 percent stone theory rate in the trilogy arm versus 76 percent in TFL arm at 48 hours. But <clears throat> at one month follow up, both the arms had complete stone theories. There was no blood transfusion required in either of the group. So trilogy was more efficient in clearing large venous stone than TFL. However, the stonification complications were comparable in trilogy and clear fibrillase. But this was purely on scientific basis. But if you ask, the trilogy uh, currently has a single use probe. The company is using is working on reusable probe, but it comes with the cost. The superbug sheet is a uh, one time buy. Laser you always have. So addition of suction to the sheet using either thulium fiber laser or aluminum laser would be actually more cost effective, barring the scientific component of this uh, concept. Now, there are some of meta analysis and systemic review regarding comparison of vacuum assisted sheet and normal sheets in mini, uh, uh, mini PCNL. So, this was 857 patients. And what did they find is that in the meta analysis, the stone theory rate was significantly better in mini PCNL with suction. The post operative infection was significantly less in mini PCNL with suction. The blood transmission rate was comparable, but slightly better in mini PCNL with suction. The operative time was significantly less in mini PCNL with suction. So the study of the meta-analysis concluded that the application of vacuum-assisted sheet in mini PCNL improved the safety and efficiency compared to the conventional sheet. The vacuum-assisted sheet significantly improves the stone theory rate while reducing operative time and post-operative infection. So as we saw in the starting of our talk, what are the downsides of mini PCNL? And that is being taken care by addition of suction to mini PCN. Again, uh, meta analysis, which uh, evaluated the efficacy and safety of PCNL added with negative suction pressure in treatment of stone. So it concluded that PCNL reduces the operative time, post operative completion, fever, septic shock, and intraoperative blood loss without increasing the risk of septic shock. This is a multi institutional study of comparing the outcomes of super mini perk, that is addition of suction to mini perk versus mini perk. It is a multi-institutional study. It has been quoted in Nature's Review Urology also. And it concludes that our data shows that super mini perk is an ideal treatment option for stones less than four centimeter <coughs> and is more efficacy for stone of around two to three centimeter with less of course operative fever, blood loss and pain as compared to mini perk. Now, one hypothesis having less pain in the super mini perk group would be the intraangular pelvic pressure is less in, uh, in mini perk with suction, as well as when you apply suction, there would be less intra and extra volition, which could be the cause for post operative pain, which is less if you apply suction to mini PCNL. And that could be the reason of less pain in the group with suction. Now, these were all the studies present from China. And now, let's see what the rest of the world is doing. This is a device, device by Luminous, where this is a probe, to, this is a device by Luminous, and it has a probe where a suction is attached <coughs> with a laser fiber which can pass through it. And the handle uh, is such that the surgeon can control 
the laser fiber also and the suction also. So this device was presented uh, by Dr. Gushin Dhani in AUA as dusting utilizing suction technique which is dust for PCM. Now, as you can see, majority of the work in super mini perk or addition of suction to mini PCNL is done in only one country, which is China. It's high time that rest of the world contributes to the scientific uh, part or the, um, the uh, technology beyond behind addition of suction to mini PCNL. I think the addition of suction would minimize the shortcomings of mini PCNL that it faces as against to standard PCNL. Now we should evaluate what it is actually in in real condition. So Vieta Institute has evaluated uh, mini perk with suction using helium fiber laser, or we have evaluated mini PCNL with suction using high power helium laser with Moses technology. <coughs> we have compared them, and we have also done a study that I just showed of mini PCNL using cryology versus helium fiber laser. And all these studies are mini PCNL with suction. So to conclude, I would like to give a take home message, which is actually pointed out very well in this study, which is a review in current urology opinion in March 2021. And it says that suctioning PCNL or addition of suction to mini PCNL improves the lithotrip efficiency to enhance concrete rate and reducing renal pelvic pressure to attenuate infectious complication. The addition also helps overcome the limitations of potentially high internal pressure and prolonged operative time in mini PCN. So you circumvent all the problems of mini PCNL, take away all the benefits of mini PCNL, and that is how it would be a win-win situation for you. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge my gurus of the MR Desai sir and Subminister for imbibing this concept of addition of suction to mini PCNL. So thank you, sir. It was a very elaborate and uh, very well emphasized on the two important points of why suction should be added to mini PCNL to overcome the two important disadvantages of the increased operative time and the high intrarenal pressure. So thank you so much, sir, for your presentation. And we have a few questions from our side. So let us have a discussion. So to start with, do you have in your personal experience, do you have a size cutoff like beyond which you would use mini PCL option? <coughs> and is there an uh, upper limit beyond which you will not use it? So what is the size criteria and based on what do you choose? So currently we have used this uh, 18 French mini perk with suction in all types of stone which are available. In fact, we have used in complete stagons also where you require more than one track and it is actually better to have smaller multiple tracks rather than having larger multiple tracks. And uh, the benefit of addition of suction uh, in mini pieces is that as I showed, sometimes, uh, so you, there's a stagon stone. You take a middle cholesterol puncture, it will clear the middle cholesterol stone, the pelvic stone, and to some extent, a lower cholesterol stone. Now, if you want to go to the upper cholesterol, it is slightly hampering. So, if you have this device, uh, short course or trilogy, you keep on pouring through the stone. What will happen that if you keep on pouring the stone from the, uh, the caudal aspect, the stone will get sucked out and by its own weight, it will fall. And in this way, you can decrease, actually decrease the amount of uh, punctures that are required. And if you have secondary stones, suppose there are some small, small secondary stones in the lower calyx, you are using a sheet with suction, just go from the middle calyx into the lower calyx, don't do any maneuvering, just apply suction, all the secondary fragments would pop out from the lower calyx into the pelvis, and that is how you actually prevented an additional puncture and dilatation. So we are using all types of stone, and with a very good outcome. And so, I've actually probably shown in all stones of varying size and density. So what is the lower limit that which you start with a mini PCNL with suction, start using for that? Is it beyond 15 mm or beyond 18 mm or what, what do you say? Okay. So mini PCNL, uh, now 90% of the stones have been dealt with mini PCNL center. 
uh, if you ask me addition of suction probably has benefit if the stone is more than 15 mm if it is less than 50 mm what happens is that if you lace the stone all the fragments would just come out with vacuum thin effect one second a stone which is less than 50 mm with thulium fiber laser or high power laser that are available it hardly takes any time so when your time is around 5 minutes to 10 minutes of your lacing time it hardly increases your internal pressure and hardly leads to post operative index is complication these complications of internal pressure and uh, fever are basically for high volume stones where you actually uh, see what are the benefit of a larger sheet is that one the people used to say that you can retrieve larger fragments with the uh, four but at the same time it, it keeps your pelvic axial system pressure low because all the fluids uh, remain sir in mini per what happens is that your it is a 18 french sheet your 12 french nephroscope is in so hardly there is a space for water to seep out yes. then your internal pelvic pressure increases and then when you suck out the internal pelvic pressure remains low so it has more benefit uh, for stones which are higher than 15 mm okay so you are mentioning about the probes that is uh, olympus lithosuction probe and the trilogy probe so do you think any of these probes cause an impairment to the irrigation fluid inflow or that, that causes decrease in the visibility so as i said in the shah super peak sheet also what happens is that the biggest problem currently is that uh, if we want to apply suction to mini pcn and what will apply is the standard op suction that we have so even if you apply that the suction to the mini shah super peak sheet your intrapelvic pressure will uh, suddenly collapse and you will have bleeding and you will have loss of vision so it will irritate you so actually you will have to use the machine uh, suction machine which is provided by the company which is low pressure suction same holds true for shockers and trilogy <clears throat> if you are using your ot suction the benefit in olympus and shockers is that in shockers you have this clockwise or anti clockwise movement to the probe where you can uh, control the amount of suction so you go inside and you see that the pelvic axial system is uh, collapsing to so decrease the amount of suction which you want to apply and similarly that can be controlled in the uh, trilogy in the generator itself to control the amount of suction which can be easily controlled in both the technologies no it is not the about the controlling the suction i am asking whether the size of the probe itself will cause an impairment to the irrigation flow that is what i am asking no so the probe which is available is 1.9 mm trilogy and 1.8 mm shock pulse so it hardly affects the uh, suctioning effect okay so how do you choose whether olympus uh, which case to use olympus shock pulse or which case trilogy or which case the sheet containing the suction do you have any choice on based on what you will choose so well, currently you don't have any criteria for that and now since we have compared uh, trilogy versus shock pulse uh, we are better of using shock pulse and trilogy in stagon stones and suppose the stone more than 3 cm or 35 mm is this a stagon stone shock pulse trilogy would be faster as compared to a stone which are 15 to 25 mm where you can use this uh, sheet with suction uh, we are comparing shock pulse versus trilogy in a prospective randomized control manner and we would soon come out with the results and then we can say which is better and where to use both are the same technology so it is more of your preference which machine you want to use and which machine is available to you okay for the beginners generally these uh, trilogy olympus shock pulse will be quite costly so it will not be widely available in the other centers other than institutions like yours so if somebody is already using a uh, shah sheet or a clear petra sheet do you think apart from the suction which is done you with the help of the sheet do you think in addition trilogy or olympus litho suction like that suction devices will additionally make a real difference or it is just enough to use a simple pneumatic litho tripter or a laser wherein the fragments will be suctioned through the sheet so if you ask me personally uh, in a setup indian setup where everything is cost constrained the limitation of resources so the best uh, combination would be an 18 french shah super peak sheet a 12 french nephroscope and a pneumatic lithor tripter or a laser that you have this would clear up majority of your stones uh, only in cases where you use the high burden complete stagon stone 
then only you will have to use this higher suction devices if you use such perfect sheet you can also uh, complete the stone but it may happen so it may to stay the procedure to take additional control but for the beginners or the majority of the people such perfect sheet with a pneumatic lift uh, would suffice for most of the cases okay and it is very cost effective and you don't have to buy anything new you have your own scope everything remains the same you just have to buy a sheet which you actually buy so you have to buy amplifiers every time in fact in charge of perfect sheet you don't have to buy it every time because it is metallic yes so in such cases where you use suction with cnl do you keep nephrostomy at the end or does it affect your decision whether you keep nephrostomy at the end or not if you use suction along with mini pcnl so what we have uh, evaluated and found in our studies that the cases which we have done uh, mini pcnl with suction uh, we have not kept a tube majority of the cases which we have not placed a tube and the hypothesis that we have is that as i showed is that addition of suction keeps your renal pressure less which leads to less of intravasion and extravasion which leads to less post operative pain so that is why the need for nephrostomy tube is slightly lesser if you use a mini pcn with suction you can very well get away without a tube okay so and rig what about your experience of using this suction sheet in the case of retrograde intrarenal surgery rirs with access access sheet with suction so there are some suction devices which are used in rirs one is available by clear cutter itself where it has its own access sheet where you railroad over the glide wire you remove the inner obturator it is just like conventional uh, access sheet but it has an offset as as i showed in the uh, nephroscopy sheet and you attach the suction to it but still it is not that great as is in mini pcnl the other device which is been coming up is that uh, you do uh, clear stone clearance using an rrs now what is your problem is that there are stone fragments of gravel which is inside powder which is inside this is the downside of rrs against uh, mini perk where you have in complete stone clearance so what we do is that once we have laced all the stone we have the gravel there is a device which go which is railroaded over the glide wire it is just to hold it where like a uh, rrs you can control the flexion and deflection of it so it goes inside the pelvic alexa system attach a suction to it and you see in the uh, fluoroscopy so okay. first you have to install the contrast you install the contrast where the stone is and just go into the pelvic alexa attach a suction wherever the stone in whatever alexa it is in just suck up so you can actually see the stone that was coming onto the uh, tube which is attached to this uh, tube so there are two ways one is during your lasing uh, the clear cutter sheet and one is uh, once you have done with the uh, rs okay uh, sir while using this uh, sha sheet one difficulty we had is that for a deeply weighted <coughs> calyx like anti gravity too much anti gravity the fragments smaller fragments don't get sucked out so in one or two cases what we had to do is we had to put the nelatin catheter inside the sheet directly and then do direct suction because this outside su suction attached to the sheet was not working so do you have any experience like this sha suction sheet is not enough and you have to do a direct suction onto the fragments or is there any uh, tips you would like to suggest so in fact the uh, one benefit uh, that uh, the case that i showed is that case that i performed yesterday uh, it was an inaccessible calyx where there were secondary fragments and actually the sash perfection helped me i just went there and the fragments sucked out with that so it was the contrary the other way that actually you are elaborating but i don't find any reason why uh, it, there should be difficulty in suctioning the fragment unless and until it is too heavy for the suction to suck out okay okay sir so there are no more questions from the audience so we can conclude the session thank you so much sir for very nice discussion and elaborate presentation thank you so much thank you thank you it was my pleasure to give a talk and contribute to this peer urology that the community is uh, increasing day by day and i was amazed by the anniversary video where you have 3 lakh plus views and 9000 uh, subscribers it's a great feat for uh, prithvi urology uh, group and dr chandravan vardhi sir yes sir thank so you.
thanks to our uh, uh, or our admin dr chandramohan wali sir thank you sir thank you thank, thank you. you close the session yes.